So what can nice guys do to be more attractive to women, to have more success with women, to ultimately stop women from quickly getting bored with them or choosing another guy instead of them? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video. My name is Bobby Rio, and after coaching guys for, for many, many years now, a pattern that I see over and over again is certain guys instinctively fall into a category referred to as nice guys. I was one of them. Um, a lot of guys out there self-identify with nice guy, or a woman may have used that term, right? And we don't really know. Is the term, when a woman uses it, she, she uses it like she's saying a good thing, right? but you're a nice guy, or she's talking to you to, about you to her friend, and she's like, yeah, I, he's such a nice guy. But ultimately, what comes after that is, but I just don't feel it. So one of the reasons that women don't feel it with nice guys is because they're missing a few traits, right? They're missing traits that women want out of a man, or that the man actually needs to have if he wants to um, move things with a woman towards a relationship. So that's what we're gonna discuss in this video. What are the traits? What, what, what is it that, it, you know, nice guys can be nice, right? We, we've established that. They are nice, they're good guys. There's nothing wrong with them. But what are they missing that makes a woman not have that feeling? That's what we're gonna go over right now. So the first thing, and I've, like I said, I've been coaching now for 12 years, I do, at least uh, nine or 10 one-on-one -on -one sessions a week with my private clients. And one of the things that I pinpointed, and I had, I had this myself, this was a huge issue for me early in my dating life, is nice guys tend to lack a killer instinct, right? What do I mean by killer instinct? So what I mean by killer instinct is nice guys are afraid to fully go after what they want. Right? And this is why nice guys wind up in the friend zone because they don't have that killer instinct. And I see it all the time. I was out with a friend of mine a few months ago and he, there was a woman there that he was kind of being set up with, right? Um, somebody had kind of trying to put them together. We're out and I watched him interact with her and he would go over and he would talk to her and we'd be like nice. And he was even decently flirting with her a little bit, but then he would walk back over to me and talk to me. And then at the end of the night, it was like the end of the night came and here was this girl that came to meet up with him. And he winds up going, Hey, nice meeting you. Gives her like the hug. And that was it. Right. He didn't take responsibility for making something more happen. And nice guys do this all the time. They do it when they're having a good conversation with a woman and they're afraid to go, Hey, give me, give me your number. We've got to continue this conversation. We got to hang out sometime. Give me your number. Right. Instead, they try to pussyfoot around it. Um, they do it at the end of a date when the date's going really well. And it, it, it's like the woman's like waiting for them to invite them back to the, their house or to make a move or to go for the kiss. And instead in their mind, they're like, well, I'll do it next time. It's too soon to go for the kiss. She might think I'm a player or I'm only trying to sleep with her. And they never ever take it to that intimate level, right? They lack that killer instinct. and. You need that instinct, right? Um, it, it, it's, it's what makes men successful in, in, in all areas of life. The guys who are best at sports have that killer instinct. The guys that are best in business have that killer instinct. And the guys that are best with women have that killer instinct. And you've got to be conscious of this. And if, if you notice that a trait you're missing, you've got to realize, am I missing a killer instinct? Am I not making things happen? Am I not like being assertive enough to close the deal? All right, so the second trait that nice guys tend to be missing when they are with a woman is playfulness. Because ultimately, a woman has to have a good time when she's with you, right? It's not just about games. It's not just about, uh, you know, all, all the sort of uh, qualities that, that I might have discussed in some of my other videos. There's also the element of her going, wow, we really connect. Wow, there's chemistry here. And chemistry happens between a man and a woman when they're on what I call the playground. Imagine when you were out on the playground in the fourth grade with your childhood crush and you're just kind of in your own little world and you're laughing and you're teasing her and you guys are playing silly games together. That's really where attraction takes place. 
Um, and that's what nice guys don't understand because nice guys get on a, on a, on a date with a woman or they start having a conversation with a woman. And instead of taking a woman to this playground, they take her on a job interview, right? They start asking her, so what do you do for a living? Oh yeah. And they, 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 they have all these questions. How do you like your job? Huh. How did you get started in that? You know, oh yeah, cool. Like, and there's no playfulness there. And without playfulness, there is no chemistry. And the, the thing with nice guys is they're usually pretty fun, playful guys, right? When they're hanging out with their friends, they tend to be laughing, funny. But when they get around a woman, all of a sudden, it's like this serious side of them comes out and they don't let that guard down. Or the other side of it is they are really playful, but they lack the killer instinct. So they do too much playfulness. But in general, I found most times that guys, especially the first few times they're on a date with a woman, they're very much stiff, formal, and come across a little boring instead of that guy that takes her into that little fantasy world on the playground where she kind of forgets about everything else and just engaged with the guy and laughing and having fun. All right, so the next uh, trait that nice guys tend to be missing is the trait of anticipation, the ability to create anticipation, right? And if you study what women respond to in terms of um, romance novels or the kind of TV shows or movies that women instinctively are drawn to, it involves this buildup, this anticipation of what's going to happen, when is it going to happen. And nice guys don't do that. Sometimes they do it in the beginning, right? What happens with nice guys is because they don't have the killer instinct, they hang out with a woman for a few times, they don't make a move. So the first couple times that you hang out with her, there's some anticipation. But then eventually when you don't make a move, it kind of fizzles out and all of a sudden there, there's nothing there anymore. And then the nice guy goes in and spills his guts and, oh my God, I like you so much. And that totally just ruins everything. So anticipation is really important, right? It's, it's the ability to create a emotional roller coaster for a woman, for, to have her wanting more, to have her wondering what's going to happen next. And a lot of this has to do with you. It has to do with your own priorities in life. Um, it has to do with the amount of options that you have because all of this, right? The more you have going on in your life, the more options you have, the more a woman is not the single focus of your existence, the more you're naturally going to build that anticipation. Um, but when you meet a woman and all of a sudden you're like, she's got to be mine. I like her so much. She's got, I got to make her my girlfriend. Everything you're going to do from that place is going to diminish all the anticipation. It's going to kill it for her. Next thing that I want to discuss in terms of what nice guys are missing is certainty. And a lot of reasons that guys, nice guys don't have that killer instinct is because they lack certainty. Uh, what do I mean by lack certainty? Nice guys are always second guessing themselves. They have insecurity creeps through. They're hanging out with a girl. Um, the conversation is going well. And then they start going, but does she like me? Does she... Would she want to kiss me? But I don't, I don't know if I make, if, if I try to kiss her and she didn't want to kiss me, she's going to think that I thought she liked me and she didn't like me and it's going to make me look weird. And they have all these doubt and insecurity going through their mind. Whereas like the guy who's good with women, he's like, of course she wants to kiss me. Like um, we're having a good conversation. She's like, why would she not want to kiss me? The nice guy's always second guessing himself. When he plans a date, he's always worried. Did I choose the right place? Is she going to like this place? Are you having a good time? You know, nice guys are the king of that. Hey, is this place okay? And whenever you do that, you're lacking certainty. Um, certainty is a belief in yourself. It's a belief that your opinion is a strong opinion. It's a belief that when you choose to do something, it's the right choice. And when you doubt yourself, it creeps through and it comes across as very insecure to a woman and it makes her doubt you. It comes across as needy. And if a woman is go goes, he seems like he's not sure that I should like him. Maybe I shouldn't like him, right? If you're like always needing that reassurance from her, in her mind, she's like, wait a minute. Why, why is he so insecure? Well, maybe, maybe I had this guy wrong, right? And that's what happens. So the fifth trait that nice guys tend to be missing is a high price tag. So everybody tends to instinctively place a certain amount of value on themselves, okay? And whenever we meet somebody else, 
we kind of judge our value against theirs. It's human nature. We all do it. Um, we do it when we're talking to a, a, a coworker or a friend or anything, right? A guy, a girl. We always kind of know, like, like, am I more valuable or are they more value? And it, it kind of sounds messed up to say, but we all, on some level, do this. Well, what happens with nice guys is when they meet a woman that they like, they immediately assign her more value than themselves. They automatically give her the higher value, that the position of status. And when you do that, right, when you give a woman the status, you become her fan. You become the guy below her. And you're assigning that level. A lot of guys think, well, women, you know, women don't like me or women. But the thing is, is that you're, everything you do projects that you see her as above you. And when you see a woman as above you, she's going to look down on you because you're training her to do that. And that's what happens to a lot of nice guys. They train a woman to look down on them. Whereas the, the guy that we might call a player or a jerk, he's actually training a woman to see him as having more value than she does. And she's always looking up at him, right? And that's why she's chasing him because she sees him as having more value. And we always sort of chase something that we deem valuable. And nice guys chase women because they deem them more valuable. But ni women don't really chase nice guys because there's not a lot of value there. And it, it, it's not because the nice guy is you know, not, not good looking. Cause a lot of nice guys are, are good looking. It's not because they're not rich. Trust me. I have a ton of private clients that are very, very well off. Right. Um, it's because of the internal value that they, they place on themselves. And if you don't give yourself a high price tag, a woman is never going to see you as having a high price tag. A quick, quick review of everything first, uh, before we move on. So the killer instinct is something that means you don't take that next step, right? There's always that next step that has to be taken, whether, you know, we talk about in sales, right? To go for the close. You need that killer instinct in sales. Well, it's the same thing in dating. You need that killer instinct to go after what you want. And having it shows a level of confidence. It's one of the things I always tell my clients is that when you escalate things, when you go for it, just the mere act of going for it demonstrates confidence to a woman. The next is playfulness. And what I meant by that is, you, when you're hanging out with a woman, you don't want to be on a job interview with her. You want to be on the playground with her, right? You want to be laughing. You want to be having a good time. You want to be in this imaginary fantasy world where you guys are just like teasing each other and, and, and doing role plays and all that sort of stuff where you're just having fun. That's where chemistry occurs. Then there's anticipation. And that means that you allow the buildup. You, 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 you withhold some of your availability so that she wants more. Then we have certainty, and that's just coming across as, as having a belief, of course she would be attracted to me. Of course she would want to go out on a date with me. Of course uh, she's gonna like this place. She's with me, of course we're gonna have fun, right? It's a belief in yourself. And then there's the idea of having a high price tag, and that's assigning yourself value, um, as much value as you assign a woman, okay? So if, if this doesn't come naturally to you, if you fall into the category of nice guy, um, I hold a class that I hold a few times a week. It's called Three Steps to Status, Value, and Charisma. It's completely free. Um, the class is about an hour long, a little over an hour. And I walk you through how to change your nice guy behavior, right? And there's three steps that, 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 that make this really easy, right? It sounds really hard, but there's really three things that you need to do. There's three mindsets and there's three attitudes and three behaviors that if you can just manage those three things, your value in a woman's eyes will go up automatically, right? You'll become more socially powerful, more socially, um, you know, you, you'll have more status. Status isn't about money. People think it's about money, but trust me, I, there's, plenty of broke guys out there that have a ton of status in a woman's eyes because they assign themselves status and a woman follows your lead. So this class, it's called Three Steps to Status, Value, and Charisma. It's completely free. You can register. There's a link below this video. Um, some of the guys that have already gone through this class said that, you know, that, that they would have paid hundreds of dollars for this free class. So it, it, don't, don't think because it's free, it's not valuable. Um, I think it's one of the most valuable classes you will go through. So click the link below to register. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, let me know what you'd like to see me cover in other videos.